So the sanding is done, the wire brushing is done, and now we are onto the sealing. So I have my sealant, I've got the sealant gun, and I've already been around just to show you guys. I've been working my way along. I'm doing the roof at the minute. So let's get ourselves up there and have a look. Oh, this is not easy holding the GoPro, but let's see if we can make out the fact that I'm running a seal along there, like so. You can just see it. So now I need to do that side. So I'm just wondering if this is going to work, guys. Let's, uh, let's stand you guys there a minute. I'm going to have to move the ladder and we'll come round. I'm struggling to see. The GoPro's in my way. <clears throat> so I'm just running a nice line along, getting it right in the groove as best as we can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my finger along, take off any excess, and uh, help us work it in better. You really want to seal this off. It is watertight anyway. Okay, so the uh, sealant is now finished. I'll just show you round, for example, like round here, along that side as well, and up underneath. So what I've done is, I've done all the roof, and then when I've come down to the bottom here, I've gone under every single panel, like so under there. Show it above, look. There you go, there's a better idea of, uh, of how it looks. So I've gone all the way over the top, along, and the top again. Oh uh, yeah, so hopefully now she, even though she was pretty much watertight anyway, we didn't spot any leaks of rain the other day. Hopefully now, she's definitely 100% waterproof. So now on to the next job, which will be uh, very soon. It will be the painting. So we are going agricultural blue. Can't wait to get started. Tidy her up, make her look so much better. So keep your eye out for that. Right, so onto the horse box. We've. Uh, would have recorded but the gopro was being a uh, i'm not even gonna say any words right so the wood's come out um i've pulled that out off the sides here you'll see where all the cobwebs are ripped that out as best as i can took it out around the perspex window as well having a mess around with the doors looking at different layout ideas we're just getting a gauge of what we think we could do in here i know it looks thingy but that is i can't remember the width of the top of my head but it gives me two foot six either side if i was to split it down the middle and put a toilet in two toilets in sorry so that's the general idea at the minute is doors here split down the middle toilet toilet with a wall somewhere along here in the middle and then that side would be like a walk-in type of shower so right what i need to do now is rip the floor out next and to rip all that flooring out we're going to use uh i'm not sure what we're going to use actually but we're going to use some fresh wood in there anyway so I'll rip that out next, and then we'll see where we go from there. Still need to cut the arches off, but we've had a bit of a... So last time when we moved it, we had to put some straps around the front because we haven't actually got a ball hitch to connect on. Well, the Ford that we've just bought has actually got one, so we can use the Ford to uh, move it about, which is nice. Right, so I'm using a toothpick, and I'm just uh, crying out the floorboards best as I can getting under them and giving them a bit of a push there you go, some movement oh, she's loose oh, it's McDonald's 
I'm going to have to do this end of this bit. The chassis don't look too bad. The old angle iron there looks uh, wire brush and paintable, which is good. Pretty happy about that, that's for sure. So I'll uh, just keep uh, ripping out these planks as much as I can and uh, show you when we're done, I think. Right, so the uh, wooden floor is out. It wasn't too difficult in the end. I used Dad's well, dad's, granddad's, or whatever, old toothpick. Been in the family for years. Oh, there goes a nice uh, case. Um, so the floor, the, well, the floor, the chassis is uh, solid, which is good. So I'm going to have to brush down in here. And like usual, the old wire brush, the chassis. And uh, we'll end up giving her a coat of paint on the inside as well. Hi guys, so today I am on Operation Horsebox. So let's show you guys how I've been getting on. So first off, I've used a disc cutter and taken off the old arches. Took them off both sides. Figured whether I was gonna record it or not, I decided not to. I've also took that arch off there. And then inside, we had a lot of uh, screws overhanging out. Let's show you some of the holes. For example, like here. So I've used the uh, cutter again. Took them out. There was quite a few. Um, there's an example. Ah, oh, missed one. We've missed one. Ah! I have to put it back on. So now what I'm going to do next is we're going to start sanding down the chassis. So I have wire brushed it and done a bit of hand sanding. But now we're going to use uh, some equipment and do it. Make it a bit easier. Hope you enjoy. Right, so I've done pretty much all the chassis now. Let's take this through. I had to go back in with the uh, disc cutter again and uh, hit some areas that I'd missed. A couple of uh, oh, bolts that were sitting, but generally, looking at it, we are uh, near on good for painting. I think all I'm gonna do now is, I didn't do this part here because this door here is not the best of doors, so I don't usually open it. But I've had to now, so I'll get this finished off. And then we'll go from there and hopefully get the uh, chassis painted up nicely. Once the chassis is painted, I think it'll be operation, uh, maybe getting some wood in it. 
Right, so I've uh, painted inside now. All in the chassis is uh, done. It's looking a lot better in there. Pretty happy with the uh, result. That is only one coat of paint as well. Uh, I've also uh, give the wheels a little bit of paint. Not a lot, just enough, just to coat them. And where we cut the arches off, got in down there as best as I can as well. So that is uh, looking good. That is looking good. And obviously down around these arches as well and gave these wheels just a bit of a touch up as well. All right, so that is the uh, finishing off the chassis. So disc cutting, sanding, wire brushing, hammering, you name it, painting, all done and dusted. Right guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this part of the mini series on the horse box. Keep your eyes out for the next video. Thanks for watching and take care.